In this video we report details of robotic transabdominal enucleation of a large symptomatic rectal leiomyoma in a 54 years old female patient. The patient was admitted in our department complaining pain in the right inguinocrural region. During proctologic examination, a submucosal round mass in the posterior right rectal region was found. Preoperative endoscopy, computed tomography scan and transanal ultrasound confirmed a submucosal mass of 7 cm in diameter, located in the pelvis. A preoperative biopsy was non-diagnostic. The patient was planned for a robotic enucleation of the mass in an attempt to define the histology and relieve the symptoms. Under general anesthesia, the patient was placed in a 30-degree Trendelenburg position, with the legs apart. The pneumoperitoneum of 12 mm of mercury was achieved with a blind technique. The camera was placed under vision and an inspection of the abdomen was performed. Four robotic and two assisting trochars were inserted. The fourth robotic port was used for traction with a fenestrated grasper. Counter-traction was applied by the assistant with laparoscopic instruments. The sigmoid colon was retracted and the posterolateral peritoneum was dissected, in order to enter in a safe plane of dissection. The tumor was located in the right posterolateral wall of the rectum and was dissected under direct vision, using monopolar scissors and fenestrated bipolar forceps. The isolation of the mass began with the detachment of its adhesions with the mesorectal adipose tissue. This enucleation was conducted with sharp and blunt dissection. Some neoformed vascular pedicles were sectioned between clips. The mass displaced the rectum anteriorly and to the left. The enucleation was facilitated by the application of attraction cranially, through a transfixed stitch. Inferiorly the dissection reached the pelvic floor. The excision of the mass was completed by detachment from the fibers of the muscular wall of the rectum. Safe margins from the surrounding structures and integrity of rectal mucosa were guaranteed as well as any iatrogenic penetration of the pseudocapsule. A laparoscopic entrapment bag was used to retrieve the specimen. Afterwards, the rectal muscular defect was sutured with 3.0 absorbable stitches, in a two-layer fashion. The suture was checked with hydropneumatic test that confirmed no rectal leakage.
After hymostatic review, a drain was placed in the pelvis.